Hot Springs Village Inside Out is a closer look at the greatness of Hot Springs Village, Arkansas and the surrounding areas, people, places, experiences. Hot Springs Village is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Join me, Randy Cantrell, and my co-host Dennis Simpson as we engage in weekly conversations to explore Hot Springs Village Inside Out. Today's show is brought to you by Central Arkansas's favorite radio station, KVRE. Find them on the dial at 92.9 FM. Stream them live at kvre.com. Remax of Hot Springs Village. The award-winning Remax of Hot Springs Village is the largest real estate office inside the village with over 30 full-time agents and support staff. Visit them to learn more about this beautiful place to solve your real estate needs. Call them today at 1-800-364-9007. Find them online at explorehsv.com. They are Remax of Hot Springs Village at 1-800-364-9007 or online at explorehsv.com. Ike Eisenhower State Farm. Ike and his award-winning team have been serving the insurance needs of folks all around Hot Springs Village since 1998. Ike has qualified for State Farm's President's Club, Chairman's Circle, and Hot Springs Village Insurance Agent of the Year. Call Ike Eisenhower State Farm today at 501-984-4100. That's 501-984-4100. Find them online at IkeEisenhower.net. Call them today for all your insurance needs because, like a good neighbor, Ike Eisenhower State Farm is there. Dennis Simpson again here with my friend, Mr. Chuck Miller. Chuck, it seems like you're always up to something, buddy, right? <laughs> I try to be. Well, hey. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. Here, let, let's go to one of the next things. So we're going to be, uh, let me get this straight. We're going to be playing golf at midnight, Chuck. That's the way it is. Oh, you got the, yeah, that's it. That's the Accurai Golf Club in Iceland. Wow. And this golf club is the closest 18 hole golf course to the Arctic Circle, For the most northern golf course in the world. Something tells me you don't play here any time but, say, August? <laughs> no, actually, it's in June. June? June uh, really? 21st to the 23rd. It's a stable for, for two days and a practice round before. Um, and it's going to be really wonderfully warm. They say the high is in the 50s. <laughs> wow. I, now, 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 just a little advice from me to you here, Chuck. It sounds like you're going to need to take some Hawaiian Tropic is what it sounds like. A Hawaiian Tropic. I know I'm taking my long johns. <laughs> but you, the reason that you can play there, I'm playing the tee off times for about 120 golfers. Some have come from 20 golfers, but they right. come from all over the world. It's a stable for a two day event with a practice round ahead of time. And you tee off sometime between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. in the morning because there's 22 hours of sunshine. And a couple of hours of you know twilight. You you it's tee off when again? Say that one more time. Somewhere I'm going to try to do it right at midnight, but it's 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. It's when you everybody tee everybody starts. You know, and it's not a shotgun, and there's 22 hours of daylight, and then about two hours of twilight. So it's been going on since 1986. Now, have you done this before? No. I, okay. I read about it a couple of years ago, and I said, that's something I'd really like to do. So I put it on my bucket list. Wow. Well, in 2019, I started figuring out, well, maybe other people would like to go. So I was trying to develop a whole bunch of us to go. And then that's when COVID hit. So everything oh. stopped. Yeah. So yeah, I've yeah. said, well, I'm going to try to go back. So I arranged it with the head pro there. He's put me in the tournament. And I'm going to fly out to Acura. It's going to be a really fun flight. I fly from Little Rock to JFK, JFK to Acura, which is or to uh, Reykjavik, which is the yeah. capital. 
Right. Then I have to transfer from that airport to their domestic airport to go to Accurai, where the tournament is. Oh, my goodness. So you so got I anybody going with about you? About a 30-hour day. A 30-hour day. Yeah, there, there's not going to be a lot of Chuck left over at the end of the day, I think. No, I'll go there and uh, probably try to check in. They have, they've set me up with a hotel, uh, and I'll try to check in there and get some sleep. And then I'm trying to get my body onto the nighttime program because – if you tee off at midnight, you don't want to be tired. So maybe no. I'll go to sleep in the daytime. Who knows? I'm telling you what, man, this is jet lag squared or cubed. Yeah, but it's, you know, when you get it on your bucket list, it's, and they've they've set me up for the nice hotel with some tours so that I can write about it. I'm going to do an article for Golf Vacations Magazine about it. And so I want to be prepared, and I've been doing a lot of research on it. And it's, it's going to be quite interesting i i said i talked to steindor who is the the pro and i or not talked to him i emailed him and i said uh, you know i'd like to get a golf cart because i use golf carts here yeah. he said well uh yeah we have four of them i'll save <laughs> one for you because everybody walks they're you know really they're all you know iceland is a very very oriented country to outdoors well they have to be because of the weather yeah. You know, and, and so they all walk. I don't know if there'll be anybody else riding, but I told them, Hey, I'm 85. I'm riding, baby. That's right. Right. One of the four. Yeah. 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 Well, you <laughs> may, you, you may be the oldest golfer in the most Northern latitude, right? That's true. Well, that, Chuck, and for people that don't know, and that didn't hear you in some of our other shows, give me the recap. What, what makes you so special with this whole golf thing anyway? Come on, Chuck. Well, uh, I started playing golf when I was 10, not because I knew how to do anything, but my dad belonged to San Diego Country Club. And again, not because the family had any money, but it was a perk of the office in those days. And that's what he chose. So he took me out and I took a lesson and I played off and on since I was 10, which was 1948. And I've loved golf. And then I, when I got out of college, I wanted to be a golf and tra- I want to be a travel writer. Well, hell, there was everybody in our country wanted to be a travel writer, and they didn't pay very well. So I worked my life uh, in other areas. And when I retired, I said, I'm going to try that again. So I wrote a story for golf on uh, on Catalina Island. I played golf there. And long story short, all of that's developed. So I've now been to 98 countries around the world and all 50 states and all seven continents. And I've written stories in I think seven or eight different countries of the world, as well as all 50 States. That's how I became. And I'm very, very lucky, Dennis. I had no indication I would ever do stuff like this, but I've been very fortunate to be in the right spot at the right time and ask, you know, you you ask and they say, no. Okay. If you ask, they say, well, they're saying yes. And around the world they go. Well, and I'll tell you what, I think part of the deal is, and you, you hit it, ask respectfully, Sure. You know, and you'd be surprised how many people go, well, I don't know. Well, let's try that for, I, but you're skipping over your fame of hot springs village on Cortez golf course. You're, you're well, skipping yeah, right over that. Fact, Chuck. Matter of fact, when we were talking about that, I made a mistake and I said, Magellan. Now why I said that, I don't know. Oh, hold on. I got to get rid of this call. I don't want okay. that. No, um, well, we, in, our, in our previous interview we did with you, you had said at one point that you had a double, a, a hole in one on Magellan, but that's not true. You had yeah. two hole-in-ones on Cortez. Correct. It was in the same nine, within an hour and a half of each other. I I had had a hole-in-one in 1974 and not one until 2000, I think it was 19, uh, when I got those two. It was, uh, you know, one of them was a beautiful shot. The other one, uh, that was on 12 at Cortez and, uh, you know, flew up in the air, bounced, boom, in the hole. Second one... <laughs> I hit well, the, the, the first one's myself. just like you see. The first one's just like you see on TV. It was just That's right. glorious, of course. right? Absolutely, it was just perfect. <laughs> the second one was on 17 at Cortez, and as a as the downhill hole, and I never hit it off the, more than two feet off the ground, off the heel of my club. It rolled and rolled and rolled down the hill, picked up speed, went past the bunker, and into the hole. And you thought to yourself when you hit that first, that second shot, you thought. Man, I wish I could have had that to do though to do that one over. Little did you know yeah, it would be two hole in ones on the same day. 
Yeah. In the same was, nine. Uh, same nine. Yeah. It, and they tell me uh, that it, the odds of that are 67 million to one. And that doesn't include the fact that I'm left-handed. So that probably would go up even more, but I'll tell you what um, I, I've been, as I said, I've been very fortunate and to do something like that. That's crazy. I mean, that is that just is. not going to happen. Well, well let me ask you, let me ask. So are you getting ready? Are you getting, are you, is one of your other goals to make it to a hundred countries? Absolutely. Uh, in October, um, Myrna and I and Myrna's daughter and son-in-law are going to Egypt and from Egypt, then we're going to fly to United Arab Emirates, going to stay a couple of days in Dubai and also in uh, go into Abu Dhabi. And that will be my 99th and 100th country. Wow. Well, uh, well, you have it. You've heard it here first. Chuck Miller, underachiever in the village. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I say, it's it's been a wonderful thing that no question. I would have never thought that I would be doing this. Never. Wow. And but, that that's that's June the 22nd of 2023, flying to Reykjavik and then going on into Akari. Is that Akari, correct? Akari, yep. Akari. To uh, play the midnight, is it an open? What what is the? Well, it's the... called it's called the Arctic Open. The Arctic but Open. I when I write my article, it's probably going to be midnight golf in Iceland. Is the well, just just curious how many other people are going to be there? You think? Well, the I believe it's a hundred and twenty. I think that's what they say is their max. Yeah. They you know they turn away people. People play in this year and. They sign up for the next year that next day, I understand. Really? Because it's so different. And of course, a lot of them are going to be people from Iceland, but they do say that there are people from all four corners of the world that have played in it. And going to play at midnight. Yeah. I love it, Chuck. Chuck, yeah. thanks for joining us. Anything else you want to add today? Uh, just if uh, you have any places you'd like to send me, send a, <laughs> a check and also the plane tickets. <laughs> To I don't the, know. To the traveling guy.com, www.thetravelingguy.com. Right. Hang on. Let me, let me pull that up real quick. So, so you do take checks and donations is what I heard. Is that correct? Uh, no, but uh, in, in all seriousness, a lot of my trips have been complimentary because I write the articles or I'm on the radio or mm -hmm. whatever. Um, I don't want checks. Cash I'll take, but no chance. cash. No, no cash. Just okay. kidding. No Bitcoin. I mean, no, none of that fancy new stuff. Just, just I wouldn't plain know old... what to do with it if they gave me a Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> For Hot Springs Village Inside Out, I'm Dennis Simpson. He's Chuck Miller. We will see you next time, buddy. Thanks for watching and listening to Hot Springs Village Inside Out, a weekly podcast starring Hot Springs Village, Arkansas. Visit the website at hotspringsvillageinsideout.com.